that a lot of you have been waiting for. Um, I'm about to take my clothes off. No. Um, he, why did you laugh at that, sir? <laughs> She's excited. He's excited. I'm really scared now. Our next performer, ladies and gentlemen, is a stay-at-home mom, an avid baker, and she's sometimes funny. Please welcome Erin Wahlberg. Everybody. Hey, everybody. how is everybody tonight? Good? Great. Super, super, super. I don't have any masturbation jokes. I'm sorry, right off the bat. My bad. Um, anyway, let me uh, tell you guys a little bit about myself. I, um, I, uh, it's gonna get deep. I'm currently in an abusive relationship. I know. Um, he hits me almost every day. I'm embarrassed to say that he's bit me. The verbal abuse, oh, goodness, you have no idea. But you know, he says he loves me, and I can't leave him. I just can't. I literally cannot leave him. He's only two years old, it's my son. <laughs> He's such a little asshole. Toddlers are little bastards. Having a toddler is like being in an abusive relationship. It seriously is. Because they will straight up go up to you, smack you in the face, and then be like, I love you, and you're like, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I should have gotten you that sippy cup faster. I'm sorry, it's my fault. Please forgive me, you're so cute. Please don't leave me. It's really bad, it's really bad. I have two kids, uh, two under the age of two. I'm insane. Um, I'm a stay at home mom, hashtag mom life. Hashtag domestic goddess, I like to do that one. Hashtag deflated boobs and self esteem. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. It's so true. You have no idea what children do to your breasts. You have no idea. Let me tell you. You know when you like have a party, okay? And you get balloons for the party. And then the party is over. But the balloons are hanging around. And they just shrink. And they get smaller and smaller and sadder and sadder. And you just kind of want to like take a scissor and just put them out of their misery? I got two of those right here. Seriously, the party is over. But they're still hanging out. They're still hanging out. It's not so bad though, it's not so bad. It's worth it because my kids are so awesome. That little terrorist, the two year old that smacks me across the face, He's also really, really funny and entertaining. He's awesome, his name's Charlie. The other day he, um, he farted and he blamed it on Buddha. <laughs> he did, he did. I have little Buddha figures around the house and uh, he farted. I said, Charlie, did you just fart? He looked me straight in the eyes and he was like, no, Buddha. <laughs> there was a little Buddha figure, okay, on the table next to him. I'm like, Charlie, are you telling me that the founder of Buddhism, the seeker of wisdom, the enlightened one, just farted? Dead serious looks at me and goes, he fart too. <laughs> I was like, uh... Well, now that's a thinker. That's a thinker. I'm going to go with that. Very wise. Okay, go back to eating crayons. Thank you, little boy. <laughs> the shit that comes out of their mouths, I swear. And then I thought, what do you suppose Buddhist farts sound like? Did you think of something like this? <laughs> you know? This is, how, this is how I spend my time. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I, I think about these things. Buddha farts. He's two, so he's into tantrums now. He has a whole lot of tantrums, and I'm trying to find ways to calm him down and make him, you know, more chill. So I'm teaching him how to do deep breathing. You know, he freaks out on the floor crying. I'm like, Charlie, Charlie, no. Remember what mama taught you. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. The farts of Buddha. Breathe out. I'm working on it. I am working on it. On top of the little terrorist, Charlie, I also have a 10-month-old um, a now. Uh, his name is Truman. 
He is not named after the president. However, he does drop atomic bombs in his diaper. <laughs> president, those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, um, President Truman is the one that dropped the atomic bomb. Mm -hmm, little history lesson, little fun fact. Fun fact about my Truman, ticklish balls. It's true, it's true he has very ticklish balls. Uh, those of you that are wondering how I know that, shame on you, perverts. I change a lot of diapers, okay? You gotta clean that area, all right? And every time, giggles. Happy, happy baby giggles every single time. Anyway, uh, you know, I'm a stay-at-home mom now, but I do plan on going back to work eventually. Um, somebody said to me recently, How, you know, it's going to be so difficult to go back to work. I've been out of the workforce for so long, you know, and I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I think it's, I feel almost like more qualified now, you know. I feel like I would walk into a job interview for like Lion Tamer and feel completely qualified, you know. <laughs> I'd just be like, hey, what's up? Uh, Ms. Wahlberg, do you have any experience with uh, taming wild animals? Well, sir, <laughs> let me answer your question with a question. Have you ever taken a toddler and a newborn to Target <laughs> by yourself? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm overqualified, okay? I think I'm overqualified. You don't want to know what I do to the little one to get in a quiet. Okay? <laughs> the balls. Um, <laughs> you don't want to know. Uh, question for you though, sir. Do you guys have a nap time? And um, is that compensated? Because I've kind of gotten used to having a little bit of a snooze in the afternoon and I don't really want to give that up. I don't really want to give it up. It's crazy being a stay-at-home mom. It's crazy having that kind of pressure, taking care of the kids and, you know, all that. And uh, I wasn't always like this. Not that long ago, I was a bit of a party animal. I had a lot of friends. I'd go out, party, now I got the kids, and I'm doing crafts. It's cool. But my friends don't get it. None of my friends have kids. A friend of mine recently texted me. She said, hey, you want to go out tonight? There's that band playing with that hot drummer. Let's go out. Let's get shit-faced. And I text her back, I can't. I got the kids. She texts back, boo, you're not fun anymore. <laughs> I was like, well, you're a cunt. <laughs> but I didn't say that, because, uh, you know, I never like to miss an opportunity to be passive aggressive. Um, I text her back, you know what, you're right. These kids are such a buzzkill. Let's just, I'll just put out a wee wee pad and a bowl of water. I'm sure they're going to be fine. Fuck it. Let's go get your face and make some bad choices. You know, let's do it. Maybe if I'm going to be out for a while, I'll leave like a sleeve of Ritz crackers. You know, I'm not like a horrible mom. I want them to be fed and all. You know, uh, it's, it's what I do because I love them. <laughs> yeah, because I love them. <laughs> Not that long ago, well, actually it was a little while ago now, this past Mother's Day, I, um, I got a mug that said, World's Greatest Mom. Aww. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I was so pissed off. <laughs> so fucking pissed off. Not because it said world's greatest mom, you know, or not because it was a mug. It just seemed like a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure, you know. I have no intentions of being the world's greatest mom. I don't have that kind of time or energy. The world's greatest mom sounds like someone who's always baking cookies and giving out hugs and kissing boo-boos and never getting drunk. And I just can't live up to those standards. I have no intentions of it. None at all. None at all. That night what I did is I took that mug, poured myself some whiskey on the rocks right in that mug, and I sipped it right in front of them. And I was like, yeah, fuckers. Don't get any ideas, okay? Don't get any ideas. I'm just existing up here, okay? I'm trying to keep you alive, fed, doing the best I can, kids. 
Fuck your mug. Okay? Fuck your mug. Anyway, that's all the time for me tonight. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate you coming out. Have a good night.